Well, YouTube is Poor 1176. Thought I'd do a garden update or what's left of it. It's been about a month since I've done one. Uh, last time you seen this corn, it was about waist high. It's about six and a half, seven feet right now. Uh, got ears set on. It looks like I'm going to have a pretty good crop of corn if I can keep the coons and the deer and the wind away from it. You can see the silk starting to turn. Looks like I'll have a pretty good crop. Yeah. Only bad thing about that is, is when you put this much out at a time, it all comes in at the same time. And you have to work it up at the same time or it gets too hard on you. This is a, a potato patch. I dug my potatoes with a, what I used was a old horse drawn uh, layoff plow. Hooked it to a four wheeler. Sunken in the middle of the furrow. Used a four wheeler to pull it. And it rolled what potatoes was there out. Hold on a second, baby. And uh, I didn't get very many potatoes. I only got, I only got about bushel and a half of potatoes it was a bad year uh, one thing I could figure is we just had too much rain uh, just wasn't a very good year all right my beans I've had quite a bit of beans on these but they're just real small they're not they're not really supposed to be a small bean uh, half runners they get probably about anywhere four to six inches long and probably as big as round as your thumb these, you know, you can see they're, they're kind of small. Move on over to the tomatoes. Oh. These are the cherry tomatoes. They are burning like crazy. My little girl, she's picked, I'd say, I want to say easy, she's picked a five-gallon bucket full off of them. As you can see, the blight... You know, I've done the best I could to, to keep it away, but it's just, it eventually, you, there's not much you can do about it. Uh, my peppers, they're, they're doing pretty good. I've, I've been picking quite a few bell peppers and uh, a few banana peppers. They'll, they'll, these will bear until the frost kills them, and I'll just keep... And right before it, I watch the weather, and right before it frosts, I pull the banana peppers up and tie them all together and hang them in my building and let them dry out. You, know, you can see I got a few tomatoes here I want to pick. Probably make some juice or can them. Uh, I've got quite a few and got several family members that got the same, so I shouldn't run out. Uh, my, my cucumbers, uh, they they didn't do very good. Cumber, Macy calls them cumbers. They didn't do very good. Just luckily, my dad's he's done great. He had quite an abundance of them. My cantaloupes, uh, they've done pretty good. I've I don't know how many I've picked. I've eaten. Well, I'm about tired of eating them. And you can see how they're still burning. Still doing good. Vines are dying away, but evidently it's enough to keep the plants alive. I fall down. I fall down. And then my watermelons. Told you that I should have some. Well, I did. They finally came out of it. I've not picked any yet. I picked one from my mother-in-law. She came out and washed the house while we was on vacation. And I'm probably going to pick two or three, maybe Monday morning. We're having a Labor Day cookout. She said it's pretty good. The ones that work, they didn't, they didn't really do that good. Uh, here's the pumpkin patch, Macy's pumpkin patch. She's got quite a few. She's done pretty good. She, uh, she planted these. And I, me and hers watered them a couple times, miracle growed them. That's about it. I put them in this plastic, just let them go. Keeps the weeds down. Somewhat keeps the weeds down, as you can see. But, 
that's my garden update. It's not been the best year, but it's been better than some. Well, I'm going to go. I've got to go to work. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.